So here, this is from some different storms. Now this is <clears throat> this is one of the one on Hawaii. You notice they cue in on a chimney. This is Hurricane Sandy. Gee whiz, who's in the middle here? With everything all burnt up around her. There she is. There's Mother. This is the uh, Paradise Fire. And it's just so nice that they have Mother's face on a chimney. And here's one from Hurricane Sandy, too. What's with the chimneys? Well, have you ever seen those popes or those bishops or whatever the fuck they are in the Catholic Church and they walk around with that thing and it's smoking if you go read if you go read what that originally was used for is they put meat in there and it was cooked meat because they said oh the gods like the smell of cooked meat wow and then we know what that's called no, and not not the Dracienta one or the Dracienta kind a real holocaust which means a burning, a burning, <clears throat> a burning offering. Okay, that's what it means. It means a burnt offering or sacrifice, not the Dracenta one where it was. Oh, Germans put us in a camp. It's funny that it's funny that though that the that the Dracentas like to talk about. Oh, they put us in ovens. Well, what's connected to an oven? Well, a chimney is. See. Because it's really, it's really mother, mommy of the Dracientas that's doing this shit. Right? So, they like the smell of burnt meat. That's what those bishops in the Catholic Church, they put incense in it now. But it was originally for meat, and we can only assume what kind of meat that was. So, this is a real holocaust. Everybody that died in there, and it's over 2,000 now, was a burnt sacrifice. Wow. And I thought this whole time it was those mean Germans that put Dracientas in a forced labor camp. How silly of me. Hmm. Wow. Wow. So, oh yeah, and real quick. Yeah, I just want to show you. Alex Jones has a new logo. I mean, let's just take a look at that here real quick. Here it is. Gee whiz. I wonder what that's supposed to look like. Let's see. Let's take a walk down memory lane. So that's supposed to represent the planet Saturn, whom the Phoenicians called Israel. Hmm. Wow. Kind of giving yourself away there, you fucking bull dyke. Fucking pedophile. I can't call him a pedophile because I don't know. I do know that he was... Fucking in love with Joe Rogan. That I do know. I'm not going to call him a pedophile. That's not right. I don't know that he's doing that. I do know that he's a fucking flaming fucking closet queen. That I do know. A closet queen is a guy that's a fag that doesn't come out of the closet. So he runs around trying to act all manly. But in reality, he's a fruitcake. Yeah, that, that guy. So here he is going full-blown Dracenta with this fucking new logo of his. Oh, oh, and the black and white down here for the fucking eclipse. The, the death cult. The Jews, I'm sorry, oops, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. The Dracientas are the ones that burned that up. They stole the property, they murdered the people. And he was trying to blame it on the high power lines. I work on high power lines. That's my job. I climb trees, or I go up in a bucket truck, and I have to clear the trees away from the power lines. They would not create that type of a firestorm. Now, I don't know about all this directed weapon bullshit. I, I think it's above that. I think, this is, I think this is like really like mother stuff, real mother stuff. And if it isn't, they're using some high-tech shit to emulate mommy, you know, the, the, the hero of the Dracientas, uh, getting their way. This was a fucking real holocaust. People burned alive. That is a holocaust. Not the Dracientas in a barbed wire camp. Oh, they were mean to us and they put us... No, they didn't do any of that stuff. They, they, they were there because it was a labor camp. It wasn't a place where they stuck you in ovens. You, on the other hand, are burning people up like they were in ovens because that's why... 
the chimneys are in all of these pictures because you created the Holocaust, you fucking Drakentas. You did it. You filthy fucking creatures. You did that shit to the fucking Gentiles, which you call animals. But in reality, you were, you were never anything and you'll never be anything. You fucking scumbags. And then this fat piece of shit with his new logo. It's fucking sickening. So let's let's take a look at this redheaded git. Yeah? And the, and this guy with his micro smile here. And watch how they play like they're really concerned while he wears his blue and red Masonic little fucking shirt here and this asshole in his Saturnalian black. And then watch what happens when this guy says, and it's true, they sent all the kids home. Those kids were burned alive. Guess why? Because mommy likes to burn kids. But let's watch. Let's watch Let's watch the acting class in action. And then watch Jones with his hand and see where it goes. That the children were sent home. Puts his finger right up. Watch. He does the same thing. Because of the fires, they sent the children home. But their parents were at work. The sirens didn't go off. There's not good cell reception. And, uh... So, again, I pray for a miracle. You ain't gonna get one. Huh. Obviously, you don't know where you reside. There'll be no miracles today. There'll be no miracles today. This is not caused by power lines. If it was able to turn cars and, air and buildings into ash, these aluminum wires that they use to send the power would melt. Would melt. No, if it was that goddamn hot, none of this tree would be standing. You're looking at 2,800 degrees to melt a car. Those kids were sent home to be little sacrifices, little holocausts to mother. And the sooner people get it through the fucking heads that the fucking Drakientas are the ones that are behind this shit, the better off the world's gonna fucking be. Fucking morons. God. Watch, watch, he goes right back to his mouth. Right there, see? They're laughing about it. They're laughing about it. They burn those kids alive. Oh, and this little thing right here? Yeah. This, when you look at the... Hang on a second, I'll show you. Hang on. So, this thing right here, because they know that you don't know this shit. Here's the black Saturnian cube right here. This is the keystone that holds the Masonic arch together. And here it is right here. See it? See it right here? I don't know who in the fuck... <laughs> Did they not think anybody with any brains would ever look at this shit? I've been doing this almost a third of my life. You know, if I was to sit down and write a book on the occult, I'd have like five doctorate's degrees. This is a goof. This is Jewish ritual, I said it, Drakienta, Jewish, whatever you want to go with, ritual child murderer. They're paying mother. They pay her with us. They never use their own. They use us. Give me a fucking break. Watch this asshole. Can I tell you the worst part of it all that America needs to prepare for? The worst part of it all is that the children were sent home. Look at him. He looks like he's trying not to laugh. Scumbag. Somebody needs to fucking take this fucker off the air. For real, not some fake bullshit lawsuit. This wasn't a nuke. It wasn't a fucking... <laughs> wasn't a laser, bar, a laser beam. This is real demonic shit. Watch here. All of these cars have been just completely burned. And I have to tell you, there, it, there's a certain smell of this neighborhood. Um... It, it is smells of ash and chemicals and other things that I don't even know what it is. Uh, dead bodies. Uh, look at this. 
We keep hearing about the burned metal. Well, this is metal that was completely burned. Yeah, let's 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 take a look and see. Now let's see. That looks like it's aluminum. So let's see how hot that fire had to be. Look, for, there's not enough material there for this to have gotten that hot. It just isn't. It, it just is not. There's no trees there, and the buildings are very flimsy. You can see most of it is brick, so that wouldn't burn. It's, it's unreal. The car windows just blown out, and then the glass was melted. What really struck me about being in this neighborhood is that part of it was not destroyed, and now you have Kupuna just up that road with those homes that were not destroyed but still covered with dust and soot. Yeah, like this one back here. <laughs> you want to see a funny picture? Wait. Here. <laughs> Every other house around it is gone except for this one. Give me a fucking break. This is demonic activity, period. Period. I'd like to know who lives in there and what kind of little symbols they got all over the place. Do you see what I mean? There's not enough material to get the fire hot enough to burn cars' wheels off of them. Period. That just ain't going to happen. This is demonic activity. Demonic activity is nuclear activity. But not nuclear like somebody dropped a bomb. If that was the case, all everything would have been flattened. This, they, they sacrifice, okay. The children's souls are atomic, so is yours. They need the atomic energy to keep this thing going. The people are sacrificed. The reason for the fire is fire is a quick release of energy. That's why they use it. They're using soul power to keep this fucking thing going. And it's only one group that has a contract with death and destruction, the fucking Drakientas. It's always them, and when that doesn't work, we'll start a war so there's more bloodshed and pain, or we'll kill animals, or we'll starve people to death. This is, this is their gag. And if, it's, if this is a cabin in the woods scenario, then fuck it, let this place come to an end. Stop paying these fucking demons to keep this fucking place going. What I like is these cars melted to the ground. The tires are gone, so are the rims. But here's a plastic chair. And this, this, I'm betting, is plastic. That's not wood. But do you see any burn marks here? It was so hot that it burned this car and the glass all busted out, but it didn't do anything over here. It's so hot that there's still green it's still green on these trees over here. The heat to destroy that would have would have fucked these up too. I don't believe it's not a directed energy weapon. It, this is Satanism. I mean, this is mother for real. That's why. That's why the kids were. That's why the kids were sent home. This wasn't no goddamn directed energy weapon. This is the real deal. This is just another psyops to make you think that it's a laser. It's not a laser. It's her. The devil's fucking energy. I told you that. She's electric. That's why that stupid... Um, here, I'll show you real quick. This is the nativity scene in 2020. You guys remember this? There's mother. Now, if you go outside and you look up on your telephone pole, okay, you'll see a big metal can. All right? Inside that can, if you were to open it up, it would look like this. Because mother is a big fucking transformer. Okay? It's all, it's all about power. If she doesn't have her own power, she has to acquire it. That's where this whole Jewish souls and all the soul power and all of that. That's why they have her head on top of a big electrical transformer. 
because this thing runs on soul power. Hell does not have any power of itself. It has to be fed souls. That's what this is. The Jews have the contract with her to keep bringing more and more and more so that they don't wind up going in there. And you can see the big X right on her chest, and there she is there. You understand? You get it? Those people in that, in that Hawaiian Lahaina or whatever it is, they were sacrificed in a holocaust to her. Period. It's, it's as simple as the nose on your face. They have a contract with death and hell. Hell is spelled with one L because hell, before it was a place, it was a woman and its mother. See? And so the Jews create the problems to kill the people, and then the souls are delivered. And I know you want to get into this whole thing about, well, aren't they saved or whatever. No, dude, we're here. We're here. You'll have to work that out for yourself. I'm not going to get into a big discussion about it. They're taking souls and they're giving them to mother, especially children. That's what's going on. It's, a, it's, it's, it's electricity. It's power. It's, it's atomic. But it ain't, it ain't a fucking laser beam. This is real occult stuff. Okay, so we've been looking at this for how many years? Now you're seeing real occult stuff. Real dark shit. Real dark stuff. Here we go with more bullshit. Watch this. Those who lost their homes in upcountry Maui, the fire consumed his entire house. Yes, and your fingers sticking out on either side. And now he's suing Hawaiian Electric. KITV force Eric Nack. It's a judge that's suing the electric company because they're trying to pawn it off on the electric. I climb trees for a living. Okay? They don't set trees on fire where they start a whole fucking island on fire. The fucking fuses blow and the power stops flowing. It doesn't stay on. Acton has more. A lawsuit against Hawaiian Electric Company officially filed this week on behalf of a judge who lost his home in Kula in upcountry. So he lost his home? That This is it? Show me what's around there that burned so goddamn hot that it burned his house completely to the ground. All the trees are here. Well, how did the trees manage that you burned the house down to ash? How did that happen? How are these trees here if it was so hot that it reduced metal and everything down into ash? How is that possible? Because it's not possible. It's bullshit. It's, it's these fucking Drakienta demonic fucking holocaust. Period. So understand, <clears throat> it's a, it's the whole demonic thing is atomic in nature. Okay, sex and violence are used on this level to kind of give you an idea of of how things work on other levels. So sex and violence is an interaction, a coming together, coming apart, coming together, coming apart, energies being exchanged and repelled. Okay, so the sex and violence is just on a third dimensional level. <clears throat> it's kind of a way to understand that, that these these forces that are demonic are slamming into it's like a nuclear reactor like thing but it but it's demonic it has a conscience to it these people were used for energy for their fucking soul power and there's only one group that have ever been spoke about the Drakentas in the book of Isaiah when he said your contract with death and your covenant, your covenant with uh, destruction will be annulled. In other words, these guys are using the kids and adults and whatever other flesh was in that area to keep this fucking machine running. The picture I showed you of Mother as a transformer, <clears throat> power has to go on one side and then it's got to come out the other. Okay? So en energy in, energy out. So you got to feed the machine to get it to produce something. Okay, that's what they're feeding mother. They keep feeding mother souls and they're using us to do it. Do you understand? They're using us to do it. Period. And until people get to do it, there's nothing around there to burn. How could the fire do all of this yet all of these trees are still here? How are these trees still here? Look. 
it's it's not physically possible. <clears throat> there wasn't enough material in his house to burn it down like this. I've seen burn houses. Our garage burned down. They don't turn, wind up like this. This is demonic activity that's coming from underneath up. Do you understand? That's why in the holo that, that's why they tell you if you read about a holocaust, <clears throat> there's sacrifices to the gods of the underworld. That means that energy was going from down up. Th these these places were destroyed from the ground up, not from the outside down. Fucking bullshit artist. God damn, I hate these fuckers. <clears throat> so here, I told you from this song that I remember from the 70s. Interestingly enough, it was 1973. It says, welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside. Come inside. You've got to see the show. It's a dynamo. That's what mother is right over here. See the, see the electricity? Right? You notice it goes past the guy and it goes into the woman. Right? It's a dynamo. <clears throat> Somebody sent this to me. Teams from veteran-led organizations in Maui assist in relief operations of fire-stricken island Project Dynamo and Teeb Rubicon are among veteran-led organizations. Project fucking Dynamo? Then if you look up here, come inside, the show's about to start, guaranteed to blow your head apart. Well, we all know what that is. Rest assured, you'll get your money's worth. The greatest, sh the greatest show in heaven, hell, or earth. It just, I'm, I'm in the ballpark on this. I guarantee you that that shit's coming from downstairs. It's coming from downstairs. And it's coming up. That's why this shit is burning in its spot and nothing around it's hitting it. Now, I'll show you one other little thing that's, a, that's not really an oddity, but I'll just throw it in. So here, Revelations 9, 4. And they were told not to hurt the grass of the field, nor any green thing, nor any tree, but only the people who not, do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. Are they talking about the seal of Saturn? Because Oprah's house didn't get hurt, and Bill Gates' house didn't get hurt, and a bunch of other real rich people that are definitely connected to that. Their houses didn't burn, but everybody else's did. So, just bringing that up. Just bringing that up. So, I just thought I'd throw that in there. <clears throat> I remember reading that as a kid. So, those are the locusts that come out of the bottomless pit. And if you don't have the seal of God on their forehead, then they fuck with you. So, if this was two sides that were pitted against each other, why would the locusts that came out of the pit go after their own people? It doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. If the seal of God is the seal of Saturn then they're not going to fuck with their own people. But they would fuck with people that don't have that seal. And I can assure you that seal is the seal of Saturn. I, I'm, I guarantee it is. So as I told you before, that shit's coming out from below up. It's coming from downstairs up. So you might want to sit and think about that. I've even I've even seen that shit where they got that stupid seal of Saturn on people's fucking foreheads. Uh. So let's just do a little recap here to make sure everybody's on the same page. So the first thing, <clears throat> those houses that are burning and all of that shit, that energy is coming from the ground up not a laser beam not a forest fire nothing but what i'm telling you now <clears throat> you can ask any four-year-old kid where the devil lives and where do, what, where will they put their finger the point to the ground because atomic energy is demonic energy so if we look here the demon core why would they name it that well because it's in direct reference to atomic energy 
<clears throat> sex and violence on this level emulate what goes on on the atomic level. Forces hitting and splitting, right? Hitting and splitting in and out, right? Explosions, orgasms. It all works out to the same thing on two different levels. So if we look at a Holocaust, if we look at a Holocaust, it says, is a religious sacrifice that is completely consumed by fire. The word derives from the ancient Greek <coughs> holocaustos, which is used solely for the major forms of sacrifice, also known as a burnt sacrifice. Hang on a second. I gotta shut this Skype down. Okay, so it's a burnt sacrifice or offering. It isn't a place where Jews hang out behind a fence and get picked on. They were doing this to everybody else. All right? There are two ideal types of sacrifice where they are appropriate to different divinities done for different purposes and conducted by different methods. Holocausts are apotropic rituals intended to appease the spirits of the underworld. Again, where's the four-year-old point when you asked when you asked them where the devil is, including the Greek heroes who are the spirits of the dead. If you go into um, Genesis, it talks about and there uh, about the heroes and men of renown. It's these guys, but they're not human. They're the spirits underneath, and they're not Greek either. They're not Greek. They don't have any. They don't have any affiliation with the nation, because it's atomic. <laughs> now, if we look over here, we know that mother is the thing that's running this thing. One hundred percent. This is the nativity scene from twenty twenty. You remember this? This is a fucking transformer. I work on electrical power lines all the time. If you open one of those things that's on a telephone pole and you open it and look inside, it looks like this. It's a transformer. Energy comes in, energy goes out. But energy has to come in. It can't get it from nowhere. It's got to be pumped in, then it gets transformed, and then it gets sent back out. Okay, maybe, maybe it goes up in voltage or it goes down. Step up transformer, st uh, step down transformer. Sp spiritually... Spiritually, we know that the Jews, the, I'm sorry, the Trachyentas, right, have a contract with hell. It says so in Isaiah. I've showed it to you over and over again. They have a contract, meaning they keep feeding her. They use people, soul power, to keep this thing going. All right? To keep it going. So what is mother? Let me just take this. I mean, we know that it's the devil, but I want to show you something. Let me just move this out of the way here. We'll see if I can squeeze this in here. So, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer did an album called Carn Evil. Right? So, it's like a carnival, but it's carn, meaning flesh. Like carnal? F evil Flesh 9, which is 9 is mother. Right? And here's the lyric. Rest assured, you'll get your money's worth. The greatest show in heaven, hell, or on, or earth. You've got to see the show. It's a dynamo. Mother is the dynamo. A dynamo is a big fucking electric motor that fucking spins and creates the energy that, that goes out and makes everything run. Okay? But it has to have energy coming in to keep it going. So she, she's got to consume constantly. Do you understand? Those fires that you're seeing are not coming from a laser beam or a forest fire. They're too hot and they're too exact. They're coming up from underneath where mother lives, right? That energy is coming up from the ground up exactly and it's burning the shit in the tracks where it stands. It happened in 9-11. We, we know what 9-11 represents, right? So if, if sodomy is a demonic activity, then it's an atomic activity. And that type, of, that type of heat generated obliterates everything and turns ash or rock into ash and, and 
looked like those cars, the wheels that that melted. It's coming from below up, not from above down. This isn't a judgment thing from the Creator. It's coming from her up. Let me show you this picture. I think I already showed it to you, but wait. Do you honestly think this is possible if there was actually a fire? Do you really think if there was really a fire that this house would be completely untouched? No, because the fire came from the ground up. Exactly in, in the place. It burned it from the ground up. That's why nobody could get away. That's why they didn't turn the alarms on. So that nobody had time to run. Because I'm pretty sure when that when that energy comes up through the ground, it's over. It's I mean they, that that power. It's why people were jumping out of the out of the tower, because that energy was radiating radiating from the ground up, not from fucking an airplane in the side of it. That energy was radiating up, radiating up through the building, and that's what melted the 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 beams that caused the building to collapse in on itself. So the people were literally being cooked alive from the ground up. Not from a microwave fucking tower in outer space or whatever bullshit. This has been around since the beginning of time. And the Drakientas that know how it works know exactly where to place shit and make it happen. Death and violence and all of that stuff is a type of energy that gets fed into the dynamo, which is mother also known as hell. And I got news for you. Okay, because I've been looking at this for a long time. The queen of the queen of heaven is the queen of hell. <clears throat> so welcome home. This shit is done because they need the soul power. It's 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 fire because it's a quick release of energy. Sorry that biblically they didn't explain this to you the right way because they don't ever want you to know how things work. This is just, this is a fact. These are not fires that are coming from a downed power line or some trees caught on fire. You don't get this kind of obliteration. Go look at paradise. You know, look, hang on. We'll just walk through this again. Hang on. These are my two favorite. This was from Hurricane Sandy. That was a hurricane. Yet everything got burnt. How does that happen? In water. Well, because uh, if you remember the video I did like 12 years ago where people said their car's on fire underwater because the power was coming from below. The reason I have this stupid fucking thing right here is because that's mother. This is her handiwork, and they want everybody to know that it was her that's involved. You you won't get it, meaning the general public, because you think that that's a religious figure. It's not a religious figure. It's a death. It's a death figure. Why do you think them one, nuns run around in black and white? Over here's the same thing. There's the chimney over there. Here it is over here. Oh, how wonderful that they painted a mural of Mother's face on the chimney. It's a holocaust. Not a place where Jews hang out around behind barbed wire. It's when something uh, something of, of the living, like a human, that it's completely burnt up, totally burnt up as a sacrifice or burnt offering. Or a burnt offering. This is a Jewish thing. Not a Nazi Germany thing. Genesis 2.2.2 2, 2. He said to him, Take thy only begotten son, meaning your only kid, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and go into the land of vision, and there shalt thou offer him up for a hollow cost upon one of the mounds which I will show you. And that, that was Abraham. So the Jews say Abraham was one of them. So this Holocaust thing is their thing. 
See, this is why the whole sodomy thing is linked in with the pedophilia and fucking kids in the ass. Hang on, one second. Just one second. That's why, then back to the future, if you look at the marquee right here, it says the atomic kid. The act of sodomy causes, it allows, it allows the, the soul of the child to be exploited for the energy that's in it. It, it, this thing is so disturbingly dark and fucked up. So when they want to sodomize a child, it's the same thing as what you see on the ground right there. It's just utterly obliterated. Nothingness. Turned to ash. That's what happens to a child inside when they sodomize a child. This Holocaust shit right here, take him, take him there and offer him up for a Holocaust, a burnt sacrifice, Upon one of the mountains. Would you like to guess what a mountain is? It's a, it's a dick. Right? So that song, maybe you remember this as a kid. Maybe it has new meaning. She, she will be coming around the mountain when she comes. She will be coming around the mountain, the penis, when she comes. What you saw in Hawaii is exactly what happens to the mind of a child when the child is sodomized. It's just two different levels, but it's all about atomic power and keeping that fucking dynamo, this thing, her, running. Because her running keeps this reality in, in place. Do you understand? In other words, the Drakientas, the Jews, keep her going so she keeps this fake reality going if she stops if that dynamo that spinner that big electric motor stops then this place burns up and it never comes back so you know that they rationalize in their head well we're doing this you know because if this if she stops then it's the cabin in the woods if you don't give us what we want then it's over i don't know is it is it, is it worth doing this to kids forever and ever to keep this fantasy land going because that's really what it is. It's what it comes down to. The average person is too stupid to comprehend what's going on here. And I understand why they're, they're too stupid. Because it's so far out of the realm of normal thinking that it wouldn't cross their mind unless you spent, like I did, <clears throat> practically the last 20 years looking at this stuff. You notice it's the atomic kid here. And there's flames on the ground. Left side of the brain, right side of the brain. Boom. Burnt. 88 miles an hour. Left side of the brain activated. Right side of the brain activated. A serpent and a figure eight on either side. Both sides activated. Boom. One's just on one level and the other one's on another level. Demonic power is atomic power. That shit came from the ground up. Not sideways and not from outer space. From the ground up. Any little kid knows when you ask them where the devil is, they point to the ground. And that is exactly where mother resides, down below. And now you know. It's always the drag. With reported wind directions that don't scientifically add up, tourists evacuated by bus, locals locked in and told they can't get back if they in if they leave, school was canceled, children were home while parents worked, hundreds of children burned alive, can't be identified. Because that was a hollow cost. A demonic holocaust that the Jews, the Drakientas, set up as payment for their sins, for lack of a better word. They offered up the Gentile, non-Jewish kids as payment for the evil that they do. See, because those, 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 those demons are coming to punish them. See? They demand a sacrifice. Cabin in the woods, buddy. Cabin in the woods. They demand a sacrifice. But the Drakientas, the Jews, oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to pay with our kids. We'll just give you their kids and we'll call it even. <laughs> Shut off the water. Have police there that won't let people get out, just like in Katrina. Shut off the water. Won't let, people, won't let the people escape. 
right? They want maximum death because this is a holocaust. You are currency, right? Won't let any help come to the island at all because they want the ones that did survive to suffer, right? Because, well, you know, mother, mother wants to extract her energy. Mother needs, mother needs that pain to keep the dynamo spinning. This filth has ruined this place. And the sooner that motherfuckers get it through their head of what really is going on here, it ain't government, it ain't Democrat, it ain't Republican. This is a system in a spiritual realm. We're at the fucking bottom of it in a third dimension. That's why you're referred to as you're the shit. Because you are in a third dimensional sedimentary body. You're not, you're, not, you're not a spirit. You're not a light being. I don't even like that word. You're not a spirit that can just, you're gone. You are, you are in a meat suit. You are, you are the lowest uh, on the totem pole of, of, you're above the animals, but in the spirit world, you're at the bottom because you're stuck in a third dimensional suit. And that's why when people say for the time being, who's the, well, nobody ever says, who's the time being? Well, mother's the time being, right? Mother's the time being. And when you're here with mother, life's a bitch, because she is, and then you die. But when you die, you're released from sin, which is not evil. Sin is a sine wave. It's time. See how that works? They told you that sin is when you do bad things. But if you did bad things and you died, wouldn't you get punished? Well, at least that's what they tell you. No, it says that you get released. Because you're no longer held by third dimensional rules. Oh, make no mistake. The whole spiritual thing biblically is true. But the way that they wrote it and the way they're given to you being and understanding it is not the correct way. It was written by Kabbalists for Kabbalists. Here, go buy your copy. Good luck decoding it. Because that's pretty much what they gave it to you for. And so they have a man stand up there wearing black and white. The very colors that represent the act of sodomy of slamming the right and the left side, the sun and the moon together and creating a whole fake paradigm. But yeah, listen to him. And don't forget to warm up your checkbooks because he's going to want a tip before you leave. And then come back next week because you're so evil, you're going to have to write more checks just to cancel out the evil that you did after you left. See? See how that works? See, Jesus called that out on the, on the uh, Dracientas. Uh, administratively, uh, we already went over that, and they didn't like it because, well, they really didn't—they ha didn't have a comeback. They really didn't have a comeback, so people kind of got mad. They murdered these kids. This is a spiritual thing. That fire is demonic. It is not a natural fire. Okay. It's demonic. Because it's atomic. Everything overlaps everything here. One system emulates another one. And that's what's happened here. They needed max... The reason for the fire is it's a quick release of energy. They need soul power. Soul power ain't a black thing. Soul power is the soul. The soul. The atomic energy in the body that you possessed until you pass away. They want that from little kids because it's the purest it's ever going to get. It's like cocaine. They want the best and the purest they can get. And little kids, you ain't going to get no you ain't going to get no cleaner than that. Everybody's lost thinking, "Oh, that's these are drones and this is, you know, this is, you know, uh, CIA and gas cans and lighters." No, man. No, it's not that. We really are in the end of this thing. It really, we really are. But the bottom line is, is at least, at least you know. You know, at least you're not. A, you, you won't walk into this thing as a fucking idiot. We're all gonna walk into it. I'll probably be dead before you. I'm sure of it. Because as soon as I get pushed into a corner, <laughs> it's over. You know. But you guys, I mean. And th 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 don't think that this is gonna end here. Oh no, this will this. What you see in these towns, people will actually witness with their own eyes when they do this publicly. 
when they put a bunch of people in a, in a constricted area, and then you see this shit happen. You want to see where this happened? I'll show you where this happened before. Hold on. Now, I don't know if you can see this really well, because I don't have it lined up correctly, but this was in 2003, and this is what was called George Bush Operation Shock and Awe. Because Operation Shock and Awe had nothing to do with invading Iraq or any of that bullshit. Operation Shock and Awe was Operation Shek and Awe, which is the Hebrew word for mother. And so they're giving you some bullshit footage here saying all oh, the bombers are doing this and that. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure that they went in and they surrounded the area so nobody could escape. And then when, when all that shit comes up from below, not above, Right? Because it, it, they can't show you how that shit really works. Because that would, that would be giving away the show. You see? And so after that, they show you the devastation. And it's all burned out and rubble and everything else. I guarantee you this is what happened in, in Japan. There was no atomic bomb dropped. Not the way that you saw it. I guarantee you. These guys know when mommy needs something. So they have to create a story to make the setup work for the people. So we'll create a world war because we know it. mommy's going to need some bodies. So we have to create a war to give her those souls. She's a dynamo. Okay? If she stops spinning, if she stops spinning, this place is over. They're scared to death of that because that's judgment and judgment is death. And these guys are scared to death of dying. So they need the souls to keep the thing spinning. She's a real entity, but that's part of her. That's part of the gig, right? So they need more and more souls. Got to feed it. Got to feed it. Got to feed it. That's why you got to see the show. It's a dynamo, and it says here upon the scene in a glaze of Vaseline, she'll perform on guillotine. What a scene! What a scene! Step inside. The show's about to start. Guaranteed to blow your mind apart. Wow, where have we heard those words before? <laughs> Operation Shock and Awe was Operation Shek and Awe. And no, they didn't bomb the shit out of it. Whatever happened to that place over there in Hawaii happened to this place. Absolutely it did. And all the bodies that were in there got burnt to fuck. They have been playing us from the beginning. Cabin in the woods scenario. Let's make it look like there's a war going on, but it really ain't. It's just that the, the, the Drakientas managing the show to make sure there's bodies to get thrown into the motherfucker. Go look up Metropolis. You know, on, on Drakienta tube, also known as Jew tube. It's an old movie and it's silent, but they show you throwing bodies into the machine. Pink Floyd says, Welcome to the machine. Why do you think they say that? It's mother. She, you know, they have, they have, they have a contract to deliver souls and that's what they're doing except the problem is if they like the show so much why ain't they throwing their own kids in there well because they won't do that but they'll do that to your kids oh i like when somebody gets killed in war and they they come to the door with a a triangle a triangle try three a triangle folded flag and say oh your son sacrificed his life no you sacrificed his life you filth Cabin in the woods. The, the filth that calls itself Israel, whom the Phoenicians called Saturn, right? Right? They're the ones that are doing it. The real men in black. If Or, I mean, maybe they're in dresses. Who knows with those fuckers. So you're going to see here how they spin this shit. Why they shut the water off so that nobody could put the fire out. What? Listen. Cleat culpability in this 
go to clip number seven here. This is M. Kaleo Manuel, the official who refused to release water in Maui, contributing to up to 106 deaths. The uh, count now is 111 officially, but there... There's 2,000 people dead. They say, oh, they're missing. Nobody's missing. They're dead. They're still searching. So here's the uh, water, uh, the official in charge of water in Maui uh, talking about his beliefs. Let's hear this. And here's why he didn't turn on the water. You ready? The commission is responsible per, per our authorizing statute to protect and manage all water resources in the state. One water is like taking it and looking at it from a holistic system perspective. And that's not dif any different than how Hawaiians traditionally manage water. You know, in, in essence, we treated it, and Native Hawaiians treated water as one of the earthly manifestations of a god and a kua, kane. And so that reverence um, for a resource and that reciprocity in relationship was, was something that was really, really important to our worldview and, and well-being, right? And living in an island and isolated from other, you know, civilizations. Um, and so I think where it shifted to today or over time is that we've become used to looking at water as like something which we use and not necessarily something w that we revere as that thing that gives us life, right? I mean, to me, it's a shift in value set. Um, and, you know, if we can start to really look at how we as humans in an island um, can reconnect to that traditional value set. So really my motto is always like, let water connect us and not divide us. Like we, we can share it, but it requires true conversations about equity. And there it is. He said the magic fucking word. Nothing about the fire and people getting burned to death. But he did say the word equity. And remember what I told you? What did I tell you? Anybody? What does the word equity mean? Equity is a communist word, which means we all have to be equal. Equity and equality. So we have to treat the water as, as a god. And therefore, I can't turn that shit on. So the people just have to burn. They just have to burn because the water is a god. Do you understand where this lunacy is going? And it's infected every fucking race of people. I can tell by the way this guy talks. He's a fucking butt pirate. They let those people die. They, well, they did it on purpose. That shit. They, if you look at the pictures from the air, that thing had a perfect, almost a... I don't want to say a perfect circle, but it was total a total circle around it because it was designed to kill those people. Do you see? This is the guy's answer on why you turn the fucking water off? Because we have to learn to treat water like a god? Do you understand the insanity here? Are you getting this? That's why I said I won't last long. I'm way, way, way... I, I, I never pat myself on the back. If I was in a room with this guy, I would have already gone over the desk and, and knocked him backwards, and I probably would have choked him to death or beat his face in so badly that he would be unrecognizable. And if there was a pair of shears there, I probably would have stuck him in his neck. Do you understand? Because what's ever in him ain't never coming out. These guys can always got to come in with some bullshit. Watch how they pull this one off. So they're talking about the emergency warning didn't go off, so they left people to sleep until they got burned to death. Watch. People would have gone Mayuka, Andaya said, uh, using a word meaning to the mountainside. If that's the case, then they would have gone into the fire. So they're saying if, if they would have put a siren out, people would have came out and they would have ran into the mountain, which is exactly where the fire was coming from. Um, I'm pretty sure they would be smart enough to go the other way, but that's the excuse they used. But watch this. Uh, so instead, you let them sleep until the fire was consuming their house, and they were... Now watch. Watch right here in the corner. We're burned to death. Great. Great. There she is. There's mother. Right there. In the pink and the yellow and black. Right in the window. There she is, and that's exactly why that little thing is in the window, 
because that's showing you that that's who that is. That's Kali, the goddess of death. <laughs> you see how they pull that off? These fuckers don't miss a beat. And the average person has no idea. And this color, by the way, is saffron. And it has it deals with the sexual aspect. Again, atomic and sexual. That's why you had the bikini bomb test, which was a nuclear explosion. Or a woman is referred to as a sex bomb. See how they mix that all up? This was atomic and it was demonic, period. And here's Mother Dearest right here in the window to let you know that she was on scene to collect all those wonderful souls. Thank you. Thank you, Dracientas. Wonderful, wonderful Dracienta Jew fucks. Pieces of shit. Filthy cocksuckers. Parasite on humanity.